So I've just made up um, this example system. So this is actually the, the ternary phase diagram for uh, the tutorial question today. But I've just made up a set of feeds and solvents for this system. I can point on here. There we go. <clears throat> so in this case, we've got 100 kilograms of feed and we've been told that 35 weight percent of it is acetone and 65 weight percent of it is acetate. Okay? And we also have a solvent, 100 kilograms of solvent, and that solvent is 100% water. So the first thing we do is we locate our feed point and our solvent point on our ternary diagram. So so if we look at our axis, we can see that we've got weight percent acetone and the scale is increasing up to here. So we know that this top point is our pure acetone component. We've got weight percent acetate along the bottom. Look at the increasing scale. So we can rotate our acetate into this corner and we can do the same with water, which I've called S. Okay, so we need 35 weight percent of our acetone, which is our A. So if it's in the top corner, we know that the bottom scale represents zero. So 10, 20, 30, 35. So approximately that line is about 35. We've also been told that it's 65% weight acetate. So again, acetate is in this corner. <coughs> so we know this is our zero line, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, lies on this line. And then if we did, if we did a quick maths check, obviously 35% and 65% add it to 100, therefore we wouldn't expect any water, so we'd expect the point to be on this line anyway, so we can locate our feed point. Okay? Now our solvent is 100 kilograms of water, it's pure water, therefore it just lies in our pure solvent corner. Okay? So now we can either do a mass balance or we can use the lever arm rule. So one of the lever arm rules states that the ratio of our feed to our solvent flow rates is given by the length of the line from the solvent point to the mixing point divided by the length of the line from the feed point to the mix point. Okay? So if we substitute our numbers in, we'll get 100 kilograms over 100 kilograms is equal to the ratios of the length of the lines. So we know that the length of those two lines must be the same, okay? Or that our mixing point is equidistant between our solvent and our feed points. So we can get our trusty ruler out and we can draw our straight line between our solvent and our feed points and we can also read off the length of the line okay so in this case it's 13 centimeters right so halfway of 13 centimeters is six and a half centimeters so we can just read that off onto our line and we can locate our mixed composition on our ternary phase diagram. So what it actually asks us to do is to actually find, we want to know how this splits up into its two mixtures. So I think just looking up, the, uh, the tie lines are rather unclear. So let me just... Yeah. 
So in this case, we were only given those three tie lines. But I've just highlighted them in blue so you can actually see them. So you can see that our mixing point doesn't actually lie on one of these tie lines. Okay? It lies in between the middle tie line and the top tie line. So if we actually look at the distance between the two tie lines, it's probably about a sixth of the way between the two tie lines, give or take. It's a, it's a rough drawing anyway, and we're trying to get an approximate answer. So we can take that about a sixth of the way between the two tie lines. So what we can do is we can interpolate that to the edges. So about a sixth of the way is approximately here, and about a sixth of the way is approximately here. So we can put our straight line through our points. Okay. And that gives us the composition of our two phases that are in equilibrium with each other. Okay? So what we can then do is if we need to, we can read off the compositions of those two points. Okay? So that's yeah. Sorry, how to get the red line. Yeah. So We've got our blue tie lines, okay? And we can see our mixing point is between two of our tie lines. So it's between this middle line and the top line, okay? So what we do is we just interpolate the distance between these two lines. And we take that same distance either side, that same proportionation at either side of the two tie lines. And then we draw the straight line for our mixing point and then the two points where our red line touches our equilibrium curve gives us the composition of our two liquid phases as it splits up into. Okay? Yep. So is it all right just to approximate or do you expect to say you measure this? No, I'm, I'm fine with a, so long as it looks approximately right. Um, there are in fact, <coughs> there are several complicated methods to actually exactly interpolate tie lines between pairs of tie lines. However, uh, for the purposes of this course, I'm completely happy for you just to make a, a good approximation. Okay?